Hello. Hello. <laughs> Would love to talk to you. Stories shared. Secrets whispered. Tears shed. <laughs> <laughs> Echo call, reconnect in heaven. Hello, who is this? Who is on the other side? Ta da! Hi, Krishan, Christian, whatever. How are you doing? Sir, is this you? Is this really you? How it is even possible? A call to heaven? A photographer's heaven? Idiot savant, minus the savant. We are here in the Matrix. Photographers don't die here. We just transcend to a different world. Is it so? Yeah. How are you going to keep the animated face of mine, a photograph taken from Wikimedia Commons? Don't you think just a plain photograph would be boring after a point? Okay. You have a point. Please don't make me look funnier. Liking humor doesn't make me a clown. Hello. You are the one calling from photographer's heaven. How can I have any control over the app's avatar? Can't wait <laughs> to see you on the other side. <laughs> Do we get to see other Magnum photographers? Yeah, sometimes when they don't have a job, you know. Few have voluntarily asked to visit hell to photograph war-related things. Let me guess, Robert Kappa? Uh, easy one. Do you get to smoke tobacco in photographer's heaven? I can do whatever I want here. But you see, you are a good guy. And I'm not going to do that in this interview. Wait, is this an interview? Yeah. I couldn't even digest this into reality. Am I talking to the Elliot Irvitt? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Calm down. It might be your imagination, you know? Oh boy. This is all happening fast. Kindly allow me to properly introduce you. To whom? Forgot to tell you, I'm recording this. Oops. Okay. I don't mind being in your video. Mm. Okay now. Hi everyone, this is Krishan Trinivasan, a fine art photographer, a distance skater, coming to meet you guys with another video. Our guest today is one of my favorite photographer, a versatile kind, an accomplished photojournalist, successful commercial photographer, an independent filmmaker, the one-time president of Magnum Photos, a humorist, I welcome to Krish Arts and Photography YouTube channel, Sir uh, Elliot Irvitt, in your afterlife. Thank you, Christian. Pleasure to be here. Did you take your camera with you? Nope. It's still on Earth. 
but I have my own here. Let me guess. A uh, haika? What the hell is an haika? Heaven and laika? Haika? I thought you could think better. But it's a good start, Krishan. Christian. Whatever. A pinch of humor, huh? Yeah. Let me tell you, my friend. Don't take photography seriously. Treat it as a hobby. Thanks, sir. I'll remember that. But I can take my hobby seriously, right? Dang. Incorrigibles. What was it like to move from Paris to USA, chasing your photography thing? Well, I moved to USA at my very young age. It was my dad who gifted me a camera. I attended Hollywood High School. I used to shoot events. I used to make prints. It was USA which hooked me into photography. Well, my journey in US Army during Korean War provided me with great opportunity to photograph many aspects of life. I am a slow learner, you see, but I keep learning. I am not brilliant, but I am persistent. That's how I managed to stay in the game for so long. Wow, that's something impressive. I am a struggling photographer too. Let me tell you something, Christian. I'm not interested in your past or story, but when I leave you with this interview, I should leave you feeling good and wanting more. Yeah, I can understand. I whine a lot about my have-nots. Can somebody turn this world record off, please? Okay, okay. Don't cut the call. Should I call this interview a eulogy of a master storyteller? Well, Christian. Call it as you please, but I have a very limited time to talk to you. Okay, sir. As you wish. Tell me about this photograph of yours, Wyoming 1954. Wait, let me think. How am I going to show my audience your photograph? It's all in fair use, you see. I get you. I will probably share my ah. screen wherein my web browser with Magnum Photos website is already open, you can probably show that to your audience. Is that even possible? Wow! Super cool! Where was I? Yeah, it was a sunny day. I was traveling in the back of the car. I just saw the scenery without any humans. A road and a train with smoke or steam, I don't remember. I like the simplicity and it evoked the sense of vandalist and freedom in me. Just whip my camera out and snap that photograph, you see. Wow, sir. Mm. What a beautiful composition taken from a moving vehicle. I love the image. Well, I'll leave the interpretation, other ideas, the relationship that you want to form with the photograph to you, Krishnan. I just took the photograph which I liked at the very moment. Makes sense. Have you been to India? I heard you mentored uh, Raghubir Singh. Did he pick the trick of photographing from inside the car, a frame within a frame from you? Well, I couldn't recollect much about uh, the one uh, Raghubir Singh now. I am still getting used to the routines of photographer's heaven, you see. I still have the jet lag, you know. But I can tell he's a good photographer. Glad to hear that. How did you think about uh, cropping the image of New York City 1946 Chihuahua? A photograph of Chihuahua, you say? Yeah. It's about composition, you see. Guiding the viewer's eye to the subject. Cropping is an integral part of the photographic process, not only to fix mistakes, but allows the photographer to emphasize specific elements and eliminate distractions and enhance the impact of the image. Mm -hmm. The humor and irony is the juxtaposition creating comical contrast between the dog's diminutive size and the human legs in the urban environment. Photographing dogs amuses me. 
Is it so? How? Well, I find them to be interesting and I sometimes bark at them to grab their attention and see what happens and photograph them. One dog even jumped. Oh yeah, the Paris, France 1989 photograph. Yeah, yeah, that one. What about New York City 2000 photograph? What about it, Christian? I am Krishnan, by the way. Anyways, do you have a backstory to it? Wait, let me think about it. You forgot to share the screen, sir. Oh, yeah. It's funny one. Bulldog's head to a human body, a juxtaposition. I actually borrowed my friend's camera that day. I shot about 24 photographs. Or, in other words, I wanted to empty the entire film roll, you see. When I developed the film negative and I saw all the photographs taken that day and uh, I finally kind of settled with the last one that I took. And the final shot is what you see in the Magnum Photos Gallery. It might seem absurd for many, but it evokes amusement to me. Sir, everyone loves that photograph. Is it so? Then I am glad. Do you want to talk about the photograph called California Kiss, shot in 1956? It was a candid take. If you know me well, I often photograph on themes like love, human connection, and playful irony. I do like this one. So modest. Christian, you will learn. Sir, this one is a bit political. Share us your experience of photographing a uh, respected Che Guevara in Havana, Cuba, 1964. Did you get to meet him in the heaven? Well, I haven't seen him yet, Christian. But I'm in a photographer's heaven, by the way. This world is wide. I would call the experience of photographing respected Fidel Castro, respected Che Guevara, respected Marilyn Monroe as Charisma Plus. Che was very comfortable to photograph. Che is not only a revolutionary leader, but also a good human being. He even offered me his cigar. I couldn't get it to the USA due to the regulations. My big regret, you see. Those are my favorites too, Christian. I love those photographs. Speaking of leaders, kindly share your experience photographing American leaders like uh, John F. Kennedy and uh, President Nixon and, uh, you know. Sir John F. Kennedy is very accessible and uh, he's a very open person. As far as uh, President Nixon is concerned, he has a presence and intensity. I was uh, open to the outcome uh, when I photographed them. What are your political views? Let me cut you in there, Christian. I would like to emphasize that I'm just a neutral observer. Sorry, sir. And that's Christian, by the way. Just messing with you. <laughs> I like that video of yours. You watch my video? Wow, you made my day, sir. Well, you're not modest, aren't you? So did many. Now move on to the next mm. question, fella. Mm. Would like to recommend any photography books that aspirants can read? I would like to pass that question, Christian. Most important piece of equipment in a photographer's bag is his or her brain. Just take pictures and hope something comes out of it. Those are some words of wisdom, sir. If you say so. Kindly share your experience of the photograph of Umbrella Jump in Paris, France, taken in 1989. It was taken at the 100th anniversary of the Eiffel Tower. A spontaneous capture, you see. One could pursue as a celebration of youthful exuberance. You are too old to understand this, Christian. <laughs> Ouch. I appreciate the composition. I love that photograph. 
Do you have access to modern technologies in photographer's heaven? <laughs> well, there is a quite a lot of things here, Christian. You can't even imagine to the stuff that I have access to. It's the eye that makes a better photograph, you know? How true. The more you do, the better you get. The more you express yourself, the more you learn. Awesome, sir. Few words about your filmmaking career. Filmmaking? I never actually set out to make movies, you know. It just sort of happened when someone offered me a camera and said, pointed at something funny. And here I am, digits later, Christian, still pointing and hoping people don't laugh at me, instead off with me. Any awards and nominations? Awards? Nominations? Who need those when you have the satisfaction of seeing someone chuckle at one of your films? Though I wouldn't mind an Oscar for the mantelpiece. Mm, maybe in bronze. It's lighter to carry around. <laughs> Funny, Elliot. <coughs> Sir, what is the secret to a good film? The secret to a good film, Christian. Keep it short. Keep it funny. And keep the camera pointed away from the caterers. Nobody wants to see burnt sausages on the big screen, you know. Funny. I never imagined that way. Tell us about your association with Magnum Photos. Amazing. Is that it? I mean, what else I can say, Christian? I've been associated with them since 1953 and till my last day on earth. Absolutely an amazing experience. Sir, so, uh, Henry Cartier-Brison quit Magnum Photos by 1966. He stopped photographing by 1970s and uh, he went to do painting. Did it ever occur to you that I want to retire from photography at some point? Tell me, Christian, when you are a photographer, what does retirement even look like? Can't agree more, sir. So grateful to be a photographer. Good for you, Christian. Good for you. Sir, you have uh, something to say about my work? Like if you have seen any uh, photographs of mine. I know once uh, Ralph Gibson, the photographer, great photographer, visited my Facebook page uh, of uh, Krish Arts and Photography to like one of his posts. Did you ever accidentally come across one of mine or uh, someone else showed it to you? Was it like uh, a burnt sausage? Well, I got lucky, I guess. Nope, never seen your work. Well, it was a worthy shot. Don't give up, Christian. Keep shooting. Yes, sir. Have you got any few words for young and aspiring photographers? Wait. Let me think. Photography is not about the camera, you see. It's about what's in front of the camera. Perfect. I have got more, Christian. Focus on human condition. Don't be afraid to experiment. Most importantly, relax, have fun and enjoy the process of creating images. I have had a great time talking to you, sir. Likewise, likewise. Awkward. Well, I've got plenty of time here, while yours is finite, Christian. Yep, I will also face a day. Hope I remain a photographer to see in heaven then. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Christian. In the finite space, you still have got a lot of time. I appreciate your thought to remain as a photographer. Yep. Keeping my fingers crossed, sir. Okay, okay. I'll show off then. Pleasure talking to you, sir. Bye-bye, Christian. What was your name again? Krishna. Like the non-prayer, whatever. See you, kiddo. We all miss you, sir. Next time, don't scare me, but uh, let me know in advance ab about the call. Haha, <laughs> I caught you good, isn't it? Bye. Bye, sir. Okay, 
I just spoke to Krishna and it was wonderful talking to that kid. Probably you could set up a new call with someone else, you know. Who is on the list? Uh, I don't know. Probably not from India, maybe. We'll talk to someone in China, maybe. Or somewhere in the eastern side, maybe Japan.